Okay, so what's all the fuss about the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15? And we're talking about fresh veggies and fruits here. You know what they say, that more is better. But then again, what's safe and what's not safe? Right? So you need a little help with your healthy produce shopping, I'm sure. Most of us do. Well, the Environmental Working Group has put together a 2013 edition of the Shopper's Guide to Pesticides in Produce. Hallelujah. And you can see the link here where you can actually go and get a copy of this for yourself. It's an amazing little guide that you can carry with you. You just download it, fold it up, and carry it with you. So let's start with the Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen includes apples, celery, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, hot peppers, nectarines that are imported, peaches, potatoes, spinach, strawberries, and sweet bell peppers. How many of us love those bell peppers? I know I do. And that's what's critical to buy organically, gr organically grown. Now, they've also added in some plus foods here. And this was a bit of a shocker to me, but... I've always bought organic just to be on the safe side anyway with leafy greens, but they found organophosphates, which are detrimental to our central nervous system, in the leafy greens, including collards and kale. And what they found was in zucchini and cro yellow crookneck, crookneck squash, they found organochlorine pesticides, residues of those in these foods. Very, very scary thought, isn't it? That what we're eating, we're not aware of what's in it. So you want to take a look and just make sure that you're getting organic in those particular foods. Okay, they then looked at the Clean 15. And I'm going to give you a couple of uh, critical caveats after I go through the list. So just listen up here. So here's what they've listed as the Clean 15. Asparagus, avocado, cabbage, cantaloupe, corn, eggplant, grapefruit, kiwi, mangoes, mushrooms, onions, papayas, pineapples, sweet peas that are frozen, and sweet potatoes. Now, there's a couple of caveats here. If you're trying to avoid genetically modified foods, and I know I certainly am, you want to really be careful with corn because some of the sweet corn, some varieties, are actually genetically modified, and it's hard to know which aren't and which are. And then most of the Hawaiian papaya is genetically modified. So we want to be really cautious there of those foods. Now what they say is only a small fraction of the zucchini and sweet corn are genetically modified, but who's to know which ones are and which ones aren't, right? So it's just really better to be to err on the side of caution, I believe. So what's your next step? Do you ever have days when getting out of bed is an effort? Have you ever experienced such overwhelming fatigue in the afternoon that all you can do is stop everything and just take a nap? Have you ever wondered if it might be what you're eating that's the problem? And are you struggling to get on a healthy diet and lifestyle program but just don't know where to start? Or are you totally confused by all the contradictory information about what's safe to eat and what's not safe to eat that's out there? Well, help is here for you. It's just a click on a link away from, <laughs> as a matter of fact. What I've done is I've created the PDF version of my book, Instant Energy, which is much more expensive in the hard copy version. This has no shipping involved. You get it instantly and it's the entire book where you can discover the insider secrets about quick and easy five minute instant energy strategies that literally anyone can do anywhere anytime and you can find it all in my book and as well as that there's an entire chapter on in instant energy on organic versus commercial farming and the chemical companies that are basically regularly putting profit ahead of human health. So I really recommend you take a look at that. And then on top of that, I've added a ton of bonuses for you. You can read about them here. You can also go to the link, Instant Energy Digital. It's a Bitly account as well. You can see that link there. Capitals on Instant, Capital on Energy, and Capital on Digital. And you'll find the, the link below this video if you're at, on the YouTube page. So take a look. You're getting a lot of bonuses. My pyramid, um, the how to use the five keys in an MP3 format. Also, um, my journey. So take a look. It's a $75 value for only $19.97. Can't beat it, and it'll get you on track today. Have a great and healthy, happy summer. Dr. Joyce signing off.